So how might learning design differ between the face-to-face -face and the online learning environment? Well, many of us have had experiences recently in shifting delivery to the online uh, modality. And there's some kind of changes that are evident. So when delivering in the online synchronous space, so a live delivery through Zoom, for example, um, some of the changes in the learning design require pace to be considered. So the pace of the session um, seems to be you know, a little bit faster. So therefore, the, the sequencing um, of chunks of content and activities needs to be a little bit more deliberate to help keep people involved in the session. So rather than one long delivery, we need to think about components that are followed by activities to keep those learners engaged. It can be, it can be quite a passive experience, I think, um, watching a live synchronous session, as opposed to a live in-person session where there's, there's a constant reading of body language and interaction to help um, the educator understand how the material's been received and they can adjust on the fly and add further explanation if needed. This is often missing in the live synchronous delivery. So this is a consideration. For online asynchronous delivery, again, it's making those um, content pieces very explicit. So if I have recorded a video, have I really condensed it into a very kind of short, sharp, concise form of delivery? Am I providing some opportunities following that content for students to um, show understanding of the content or to interact and work with others in the asynchronous space to create something, to discuss something, for example? These are all the considerations to think about when designing for the online learning environment. There's also a consideration here around the levels of thinking that can happen in the online space. So for example, um, lower order outcomes can be achieved quite easily by providing video content. But if you want students to achieve higher order outcomes, what will that look like? Will you set an assessment? Will you have a discussion? Will they create and share something um, in a Padlet, for example? So making these explicit decisions um, is something that needs to be considered right at the start of the design of your course.